Howdy, my name is Michaela. Have you ever looked into a tree and seen a bird's nest? I'm sure most of you have seen a bird's nest in a tree, but what about on the ground? Quail are a type of bird that builds their nest on the ground. They do this because quail have pretty small wings, so they can't fly very well. They're really fast on the ground, though. Most quail species, including the northern bobwhite and scaled quail, are quick enough to get away from predators or animals who like to eat them by running away. So it makes sense that they would build their nests where they're most comfortable, on the ground. What's so special about a quail nest is they don't just build any nest. They build a type of bowl. Some species even build a roof on top of the nest. These features help protect the nest from sun and rain, but it also hides the nest from predators who would feast on the quail eggs. In this experiment, you'll build a dummy nest or a false quail nest. When quail are building their nest, they like to find a nice spot near a tree or plant that gives protection, but it's easy for them to get in and out of. Bunched up grass, shrubs, or even certain cactus plants make great hiding spots for nests. Just watch out for stickers and thorns. To get started, you need to print out the directions on how to build a dummy nest. This can be found on the kids section page next to the dummy nest button. Since you have the directions already, you should also have the materials needed to build your own fake nest. So first, I'm going to think like a quail and find the perfect spot to build my dummy nest. This spot wouldn't really work because it's too close to an animal trail and predators might come down too frequently. But what about this spot? I think this is the perfect place. I'm only building one dummy nest, but if you decide to make several dummy nests, make sure you pick another spot that's at least 10 feet away from your first one. Now I'm going to place flagging tape on this tree so that I'll be able to come back and find this location later on. That should do the trick. Okay, now I'm ready to put the eggs in the nest, but first I need to put on my latex gloves. This is a really important step because human scent can rub off on the eggs, and since animals have an excellent sense of smell, some might easily find the nest because it smelled like me. Now that I'm ready, I'm going to use the tip of my shoe to make a little hole, about the size of a grapefruit. This hole will serve as my nest bowl. I'm going to put a quarter on this spot so that in case when I come back, all of my eggs are gone, I'll still be able to find the location. Now, with my gloves on, I'm going to carefully put three eggs into the nest, and then I'll use my shoe again to cover it up like a roof. One, two, three. And then cover it up nice and neatly like that. I can still see my nest, but I want to make sure it's not too easy for an animal to find. That looks good. If you want, you can take a picture of your dummy nest so you have before and after shots. Wildlife professionals build dummy nests and watch them for four weeks, but we're only going to check every day for seven days. I'm back on day two to check on my dummy nest. I can see from here it's still there, and it looks like nothing's been disturbed, so I don't want to get too close and leave my scent. Today is day seven, and I'm really hoping my dummy nest was a success and no eggs were taken or broken. Let's see. Uh-oh, I can see from here something isn't right. Let's take a closer look, but first I'm going to take a quick picture. Yep, something found my nest. There were three eggs, but now it looks like there's only two. It looks like my third egg was taken by something. I'm going to take some more pictures of broken eggs for evidence. Something else to look for is any tracks around the area. Maybe an animal that came by and took the egg. I'm going to take some more pictures to get some help to find out what happened to my nest. With my parents' permission, I can submit these pictures to the Wildlife and Fishery Sciences Facebook page. Maybe they can help me find out what happened to my dummy nest. I hope you had fun, but now it's time to set up your own quail nest. Good luck!